What's good everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I have a special video for you that's going to help you make all kinds of gains, but not the kinds of gains you might be thinking of. I'm talking about vegan gains, that's basically it. Not, no, we're not talking about vegan gains, as in the guy on YouTube. We're talking about how to be a vegan bodybuilder. Now, this is like a very controversial topic because a lot of people um, aren't very... Um, Believing of the fact that you can be a vegan bodybuilder because you know the amino acids and the proteins and things like that and you hear a lot of stuff about Vegans like projecting, you know, you have to be vegan and things like that. That's not what I'm trying to say in this video I'm just trying to say how to be a vegan bodybuilder because I am myself a vegan bodybuilder I'm 18 years old and I weigh about 82 kilograms or 80 no 83.7 at the moment um, and I'm doing a cutting phase it's it's been going well. Um, I've probably been vegan for about... Look, I've been on and off. So like, I'd go six months on and then I'd go off a bit and then I'd come back on it. Um, at the moment, I've been doing it for about a month after I took a week break. Um, so yeah, I look, I love vegan. I love being vegan. And the main reason is because um, I just feel better with it. You know, meat doesn't sit very well in my body. I just find that it's a very heavy... Like, it makes me feel sluggish, in a sense, and that's what I don't like, and, um, I don't know, it makes me feel sick sometimes, so, look, whatever, before I get onto this, I just want to say, whatever works for you, works for you, veganism works for me, veganism might work for someone else, why don't you try it, experience it, see how it works for you, see how you feel, see how your performance increases, you know, I'm not saying be that, but just try it, you know, see how it works, see how anything works, you know, develop a diet that works best for you, so basically, vegan meaning no eggs, no dairy, no meat, no no animal products at all. That's basically what it is. Um, people do it for many reasons. They like to do it for the reasons of the animals or suffering or um, because it causes cancer. It's been shown to cause cancer in some places. Um, look, I'm just going to share what it how, how it helps with bodybuilding and um, strength training and um, some little side notes I'll add into it. But... Um, the first thing I want to clarify just for you guys is that yes, you can bodybuild, you can be a vegan bodybuilder, that's 100% legitimate, you can do the same bulking and cutting, you can still do strength training, you can still do all that being vegan, it's all, you can do that, it's possible, it's all, it's it's been done, it, I'm doing it now, everyone does it, a lot of people do it. Um, no, this is the other thing, no, you don't lose muscle from being vegan, um, if you're thinking that, you know, the meat you know, meat is, if you eat meat, it goes directly here, you know, that's not true, it's, you don't lose muscle if you don't eat meat, that's a myth if someone's told you that, um, and the last thing is, yes, you can hit your protein intake being vegan, easily, easily, I hit it so easy, every day, so with that being said, here are some things that I'm going to share with you that I do. Um, on my in with my vegan diet and and you know um, how you can use it to help yourself you know how do I you know you might be asking yourself how do I get protein in well number one the first thing you want to do is you want to find a vegan blended protein powder um, so it'll be like a pea protein or a brown rice protein or a, or a mix of both I would say get a mix of both just because it gives you more amino acids to play you know more plant-based amino acids um, yes it will cost the same as most protein powders not the cheapish ways that you can get at supermarkets, but it will be cheap. Um, it will be the same price as way, probably maybe a little bit cheaper. Um, and you're simply just looking for one with a good amino acid profile. You know, it doesn't really matter that much, to be honest. Um, most plant-based protein powders taste pretty shit, I'm going to be honest. They taste a bit chalky and a bit like dirt and like they put sand in fucking cacao powder or something. So what you want to do is you want to find that one that works for you. Now, I found one that is so good and it tastes exactly like whey protein. It's coconut flavor, chocolate flavor, and vanilla flavor. So good. I'll put the link in the description so you can check it out. This is in Australia. I'm not sure where you would get it in the US. I'm sure you could find it once you get the label. Check it out. Order it somewhere. It tastes amazing. Um, I've been having it for ages. Put it in smoothies, everything. Um... You can, so yeah, to hit your protein, I usually have a lot of protein powder, not too much, um, because recently I've been filling my diet more with things like beans, because they're high in protein. Like if you ate a can of beans, like just straight beans on its own, 
you could get something something close to 40 grams of protein. Um, I also found this one product called black bean rice, uh, black bean pasta, which in one serving, it, no, in the whole packet, 60 grams of carbs, 100 grams of protein. Let me just say that again. Black bean pasta, 100 grams of protein, 60 grams of carbs. Now, that's pretty crazy, right? And um, this stuff you can find anywhere. I'll put, I'll, 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 I don't know, I'll take a photo or something, or you, you just look it up. You'll see it. You'll see it. It's, it's the best thing ever. It tastes quite similar to pasta, um, and it's just great. It's the best thing ever. Um, you get your protein in without it. It's perfect. The other thing you could eat is things like tofu. Um, that's like a, a, a substitute to meat in a sense. But what you can get is essentially meat substitutes. You can buy things that are like like pieces of chicken and like ground beef, but it's actually just it's made from other things like wheat gluten or something like that. Um, and they're pretty cool. I tried some of that. It tastes pretty nice. It's all right. You, I, I would prefer chopping it up in small pieces and putting it in like a pasta or something. That way you wouldn't really taste all of it that much. But um, yeah, if you if you like the the tasting of meat and you want to go vegan, then that's probably an option for you. Um, look, most superfoods and most vegetables contain protein in them. You could eat chia seeds. You know, chia seeds have protein in them. Broccoli has protein in it. Um, almonds have protein in it. You know, a lot of those. Um, vegetables and things people don't know that there's a lot of protein in those if you stack it up at the end of the day you're gonna get a lot of protein and if you're bulking it's gonna be even easier because your carbohydrates are gonna be through the roof imagine how much how much brown rice how much pasta you're gonna be eating your proteins already gonna pretty much be there you know and if you're bulking you're not really gonna ha want to get more than 150 grams of protein because you don't really need that much protein if you're bulking so you know, you're going to be eating 400 grams of carbs or whatever your diet is and you're going to end up filling that protein up anyway. So you only really need to have one shake. Like I could, I'll show you one day, a day of my eating on a bulk and um, I'll just show you, you just get your protein and you barely need to have any protein shakes. Um, but yeah, there are so many, like look, it's not a very restrictive diet. You still, like I, like me personally, I prefer no preservatives, no nothing like that. Just completely plants and that's it. And it works for me. Um, and the benefits, like the benefits, really are just like your your performance increases like ridiculously. Like I just found my performance in the gym, my performance outside of the gym, everything, my energy levels just increased substantially, like ridiculously. My happiness, I was a lot happier, just mainly because of the fact I knew that I was sticking to a diet that was working for me, and I wasn't supporting the harming of animals because I don't like that. Um, and it's quite a really healthy thing because the thing about vegan, a vegan diet essentially is that you have to look at what meat does to your body and essentially like people don't know this but when you consume red meat, your, Im your immune system actually activates to attack that red meat because of the, the specific, there's a specific protein that's in it that activates your immune system to attack it. So when you're consuming things like meat, your body is spending time breaking down those things that are not necessarily meant to be broken down. Like why would your body need to use its immune system to 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 break down steak? Like why would it need to do that? It's obviously, you know, it, in my opinion, not meant to be there, but you know, things like that take energy away from, you know, you being happy and you training in the gym. It, it puts energy into, you know, trying to break down meat because meat just makes you sluggish. It just makes, in my, for, for me, it just made me like tired, bloated, sluggish, things like that. And um, yeah, that's, that's probably the benefits of it mainly. Mentally, it's a great thing. I mean, what meat does to your body is it puts your body, or meat, any animal product, puts your body in an acidic environment and or put your blood at a lower pH level. So what they researched and found is that diseases thrive in a lower pH, in a higher acidic, high acidity of blood. Diseases thrive in that. That's what they found in research. Now you can look that up. I'm not gonna put any specific things in there. This is what I've collected over time, but look it up, it's, it's, it's true, it's what happens. And more plant-based foods, plant plants in general, put your body in an alkaline state. And alkaline 
stops diseases from thriving because alkaline is a higher pH. Meat is a lower pH. So meat has a higher acidity. Plant-based foods have a lower acidity. And it just makes it just allows everything to thrive. You just thrive as a person. Everything thrives. It's perfect. It's beautiful. It's the best diet I could probably um, recommend, in my opinion. Look, you your diet will consist mainly of you know healthy fats coming from avocados and nuts. You know your protein is going to come from your carbohydrate sources, your vegan protein powder, your your tofu if you have tofu, your vegetables. Like you could get like 50 grams of protein from fucking vegetables and if you're getting that black bean pasta like holy shit you're getting a hundred grams of protein from that you're not going to need to worry about protein at all um what you will notice though when swapping from a vegan from your normal diet to a vegan diet say your diet was really unhealthy your body's going to go through a sort of detoxing process in which it's going to you know it's going to have to adapt to the change so it's going to be a bit like you know, you're gonna shit funny. You're gonna you're gonna smell a bit weird. You know that will happen in the beginning, and then it will sort of release. Everything will release, and you will thrive. Like that's what happened. That's what happened to me. I started. You go through. It depends who you are, what your state is, different variables. You know, but um, essentially that's that's all I can share with you about vegan, um, being vegan and bodybuilding. I haven't lost any muscle. If anything, I've gained muscle. My performance and strength has increased substantially. The food tastes amazing. You just got to get creative with it, you know? Get creative with the food. Cook up a bit, you know? You, there's heaps of Mexican shit you can cook. Fuck. I make enchiladas, right? With avocado, black beans, onions, lemon, salt, um, tomatoes. Mix it all up. Put it in a little tortilla. Oh, beautiful. That's the sort of stuff you got to think of, you know? And there are plenty of recipes. I'll even put some recipes up. But, um, yeah. Hopefully that helped you out, guys. I'm a vegan bodybuilder, and I'm making... All kinds of gains. See you guys later. Peace.